Hey guys, right now I'm going over the functions lab one, question five. Um, so this one is pertaining to nested function calls um, to kind of get us used to uh, what a function, a nested function call looks like and kind of what's happening. Um, so we're given this function bar. It takes two inputs, um, both of them are integers. Um, and then it goes in and it's got this if statement returning whatever is the smaller value to us. Um, so this is very similar to what we did before in the tutorial. Um, and then an integer is going to be returned to us. So now we're going to try and figure out um, what the output is going to be when this program is executed. Um, so we'll start up here in setup. We come down to this print line so we know something's going to be printed. And we know um, we're going to call bar, our function bar, and it's going to take in 3 and 5. Um, so this one's pretty easy. We know that it's going to output 3 because 3 is the smaller number out of 3 and 5. Um, so now we come down to this next one and we call bar and then we have a couple different calculations in here. So sometimes it helps me when um, or to uh, write out what's going to happen and kind of try and condense it a bit to make it a bit more understandable. So we know that we're going to call bar and then we're going to have um, our two inputs will be 4 times 3, which will be 12, and then 5 plus 3, which will be 8. So we're going to call bar, our function bar, with 12 and 8, um, and we know that 8 is the smaller number, so it's going to output 8. So now here's where it gets a little bit more tricky, is we've got um, all these nested calls. Um, so we're calling bar, and with bar, we're going to call bar again, for the first input and then call bar for a last time for the second input. Um, so we actually start with this inner, uh, these two inner bars because as we know um, we need to start with what's most inside the parentheses. So we're going to start with these two inputs. So first we know that bar of um, 8 and 5 is going to give us the smaller value of 5. And then when we call bar 4 and 9, it'll give us the smaller value of 4. So now we call this outer bar here with our new inputs that we just um, figured out with bar 5 and 4. So we know that from this, it's going to output 4. And we can check all of these things by just running it. So we got our first value 3, our second value 8, and our last value four. Um, so just make sure when you're doing nested function calls that you start with the innermost um, function call. Um, and then from there, you kind of work your way out. So hopefully this helped.